Hello, welcome to Bioanthropodies. I'm Vanessa Campanache, a bioanthropological researcher. In this video, I'm going to talk about the growth of the sternum body on a Portuguese sample, a study performed by me, Andrew Chamberlain, and Hugo Cardoso. The sternum is composed of three elements: the manubrium, the body, and the sheafway process. Estimating how old the juvenile individual was at the time of death is based on two aspects of the growth process the bone size and skeletal development, and dental development. In this video, I will focus on the development of the body of the sternum. Although the number and positioning of the sternum ossification centers may vary, usually it is composed of six primary ossification centers, one for the manubrium, four for the body, and one for the sheafway process. The manubrium ossifies between five to six gestational mumps, followed by the first body sternebra. The second and third body sternebrae will ossify at seven or eight gestational mumps. The fourth sternebra will ossify in the first year after birth. The sheafway process may ossify between three and six years of age, but on some individuals, this element may only ossify in adulthood. The sternebrae of the body ossify in a cranial caudal direction, but fusion between these elements occurs in the opposite direction, with the fourth and third sternebrae fusing first, and the first and second stenobrae fusing last. On our study, we recorded three stages of fusion between the four body stenobrae for a Portuguese sample. Stage 1, no fusion between two stenobrae. Stage 2, partial fusion between two stenobrae. Stage 3, complete fusion between two sequential stenobrae. White age ranges were obtained for the three stages of fusion in the primary centers. Between the third and fourth tenebrae, partial fusion was recorded between individuals aged between 1 and 15 years of age. Complete fusion on individuals aged 5 or with more than 5 years. Between the second and third tenebrae, non-fusion happened on individuals of 15 years or younger. Partial fusion between individuals aged 5 to 23. Complete fusion was recorded on individuals aged 13 or older. The fusion between the first and second stenebrae. None fusion happened on individuals of 15 years or younger. Partial fusion between individuals aged 5 to 27 years. Complete fusion was recorded on individuals aged 15 or older. Similar results were obtained by McKern and Stewart, 1957, Schaefer, 2008, and Schaefer and collaborators, 2009. You can find this reference on the description below. This result suggests that the sternum is not a reliable bone to estimate how old an individual was at the time of death on an archaeological or forensic context, due to the wide timing from the sternum grow events, which range from childhood to adulthood. Why is the sternum a less reliable bone to estimate age than other bones from the skeleton on this Portuguese sample? We considered different possibilities. It may be associated with the less favorable environmental conditions, which may lead to a delay in the Stanley fusion, since these individuals lived on late 19th century to early 20th century. But why only on the sternum? Other postcranium bones of Lopin has been studied for this skeleton collection, including the ribs. In those studies, narrow ages ranges were obtained. Certain diseases, such as congenital heart diseases and acute and chronic infectious diseases, may affect growing. But again, by only for the sternum, this does not seem to account for the wider variability of the sternum growth. Maybe it is due to a less strict genetic control over the timing of maturation in the sternum body. Maybe it is associated with variability of sternum morphology due to the variable number of ossification centers per sternebra. This, in turn, may contribute to the variable development timing among individuals. If you like this video, subscribe to never miss a video by BioAntro Studies.